Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alex. Uh, so I was doing my normal routine, uh, looking at what inventory looks like at Micro Center, Best Buy, all these local stores, just kind of see see what's there and see what uh, what somebody could actually try to get their hands on realistically. And I saw a article that is actually talking about something that I'm curious what you all kind of feel in regards to this. I think it was overclocker.com. I'll correct myself later if, if it's not right, but they're reporting uh, that there is a rumor of manufacturers uh, from all the board partners, Asus, EVGA, uh, Zotac, you name, you name it. All these different board partners are planning on bringing back the RTX 2060. Uh, it sounds like Nvidia has a leftover supply of RTX 2060 GPUs. Uh, Steve from Gamers Nexus actually goes into pretty good detail about this. If you want to know a whole lot more information on it, check out his latest episode of Hardware News. But it um, it's interesting because essentially the gist of it boils down to Nvidia says, hey, we can't get the components needed for the 3000 series. We have all these 2000 series or 2060 specifically uh, GPUs left over. And apparently this is not an uncommon thing for NVIDIA to offer to board partners. It's just not common for them to usually say, yes, I'll buy those from you. But with inventory being so low, just kind of across the board, it sounds like they're more willing to do it. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if this actually comes to, uh, comes to light. If, if that's what they end up doing is, is purchasing these 2060 series GPUs. But I also am concerned about how that's going to impact pricing. Because right now, I think people have shown that they are willing, in some cases, to pay um, pretty high pricing on graphics cards, especially with the tariffs and everything that's been impacted by that. But I'm curious if, if an RTX 2060 came out again, re-released again, and it's sitting in the shelf at Micro Center or Best Buy or whatever for 330 bucks, are you buying it? Are you gonna buy that card because you're just like, I need something? Um, or will you just continue to wait it out? Because I, I'm very curious how many people are actually willing to, to go that route or if they're just like, nope, I'll just wait. Because I think that's gonna be the biggest deciding factor with all that is um, how much are people willing to pay for a, what is it, 18 month old card now at this point? Um, I mean, the 2060s, not bad. The 2060 Super was even better. I don't know if those are going to be hitting the shelves as well with this resurrection, but um, when you have cards like the 3060 and the 3060 Ti that are coming out or supposed to be coming out soon once uh, components pick up again, it it's hard to justify if you should just pull the trigger on it now or not. I mean, I, I don't know if I necessarily blame anybody if they did it, but I don't know if that's something I would do. Um, to further that, what would you do scenario. I saw a local computer store near me had 20 uh, MSI 10, GTX 1050 Ti's get sent to them for about 220 bucks or something like that. Now, would you actually get that if you're working with like a 900 series car, or like an RX 570 or R9 390 or whatever you might have, would you buy a 1050 Ti right now for 200 something dollars? Keep in mind, this is like all hypothetical, but when you can't get anything else, I guess, I don't know if you're desperate for a new card, you may have to, but I don't know. That's tough. Interesting, interesting news. I, I was kind of blown away because, because like you don't see this in a lot of other, um, a lot of other tech products. Uh, like I, I used to sell phones for the longest time and I, I was like, I can't imagine Apple being out of like iPhone 12s and being like, hey, we have a bunch of like iPhone 10s left over um, that we can just kind of put together real quick. Do you want those? I don't know if that's ever happened before. I, I don't know if that's like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, do you think we'll maybe see this kind of same tactic applied towards other electronics? Because the thing is too, a lot of the components that NVIDIA needs or AMD needs to make these GPUs, like memory, for example, uh, comes from essentially one or two places. And that same provider um, will make other components for other 
manufacturers too. So I'm curious how far this is gonna trickle down and how much it's going to continue to grow and fester. And if we'll see any other companies outside of the PC realm start to do this kind of same thing where they, they can't keep up with demand and components are short and they gotta make other changes. Uh, I, th I thought I saw, I thought I saw some phone company was having to switch up who was providing their <clears throat> who was providing their memory or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look back into that. But yeah, I don't know. I saw that in the news um, and kind of wanted to just throw my voice out there and go see what you all think about it too. Because I, I I'm curious how um, how many people want to actually go that route and if if it's something that more people are gonna do than, than others. So uh, that's really about it. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link too um, in the description if you wanna go check out Gamers Nexus news on it because Steve goes into a lot more detail on it than I can. Um, but yeah, just thought that was interesting. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, as always, thank you to my Patreon members for helping me out. Appreciate the support if you wanna join in and help fund the channel and improve things around here. You can, you're not obligated to. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, if you wanna see more information uh, or just more content from myself, I do have a second channel in the description as well called The Buddy System. We have a podcast and we do some gameplay stuff and we're working on other shit too. Uh, aside from that, I have one more thing. One more thing, just like Apple, one more thing. So <clears throat> this, is, uh, this is something that if you've stuck around to the end of the video, congrats, you'll be the ones of the, the first to know it. Uh, I would like to extend a big thank you to those who have supported me. Um, and uh, the people on Patreon are probably gonna be the first to know about this, um, but I'm kind of, I'm reaching out to the community for, for help and some guidance on this because there's a lot of legal stuff that I, am too smooth brain to be able to figure out. So I kind of want to see if maybe there's somebody out there who can help me uh, simplify it a little bit more. I have been super grateful to have the job that I have that allows me to do stuff like this in my free time, um, to have friends that are supportive of my creative outlets and, and help me improve my craft for as much as, of a craft as you can call this. Um, but I'm also thankful to the people who have watched my videos and have helped me grow this channel from 40 subs to nearly 7,000. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, and I know that this last couple of months has been tough for people who are like me and want to have new technology, new gaming stuff. Um, so what I'm tr looking to see if somebody can help me do, I would like to do a giveaway of this Xbox One X. Now I know, I know this isn't a Series X and this isn't uh, the latest and greatest, but I was, talking to a friend, we were playing Halo, and I got very reminiscent about how, when I was you know, a kid, I, I saved up money working for my parents to, um, to buy an Xbox 360 and to play Halo with my friends, and it was just awesome. Uh, and I live a life now where I'm able to afford the things that I wanna buy and the technology I wanna play with, and um, this has not been something I've used in a while, because I do most of my gaming on PC if I, when I do find times to play games. So I wanna do a giveaway and give this to somebody who, who, I mean, it's tough to say anybody needs an Xbox, but like, I know there's probably kids out there who have, um, who have wanted an Xbox for a while. So if you've seen, you know, anything you could try to help me do a, a giveaway for this, I, I'd like to do something like that. I also thought about donating it to like a local children's hospital here in the Twin Cities because uh, COVID's been tough down here. And, uh, the children's hospitals have had a lot of pressure on them too, along with the rest of the ho hospitals. So I've also thought about doing that, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to try to reach out to people who uh, maybe haven't had the best luck trying to get a new gaming console this year or have never owned like a, I know this isn't next gen, it's not even current gen, um, but I don't know. Just something I thought about. If you think you could help me with that, I'd appreciate it, so. Other than that though, that's probably gonna do it for now. So uh, thanks again if you made it this far for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.